Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to look at how to find displacement or distance from a velocity time graph. So let's get started. So there are two main things other than velocity that you can find from a velocity time graph, and these are displacement and acceleration. So the first one we'll look at is how to find displacement from a velocity time graph. And then in the next theory video, we'll look at how to determine acceleration from a velocity time graph. So here it says that displacement is equal to the area under a velocity time graph. So a shorthand way to remember that is that displacement S is equal to the area under a VT graph. And this means if we want to calculate displacement or distance from a velocity time graph, we need to calculate the area. So how do we do that? Well, it says to find the total area, it can help to split the graph into shapes, for example, rectangles and and triangles and calculate the area for each of these shapes separately. These areas can then be added together and the value for that area will be the same as the distance or displacement in meters. It then says any area above the axis is positive and any area below the axis is negative and by axis here we mean the x-axis. And the two shapes that you're commonly going to see in these kind of questions are rectangles and triangles because those are shapes that we can easily calculate the area of. So to find the area of a rectangle, remember we've got length times breadth, so you can remember area of a rectangle equals L times B or length times breadth and the area of a triangle you should know from maths is a half times base times height or a half times length times breadth, whichever way you were taught it. So so you can remember area of a triangle equals a half times b times h or a half times l times b and it then says to note that you may also be given a speed time graph and asked to find the distance so that would be the scalar equivalent of this velocity time graph so if you were given a velocity time graph you would be finding displacement but if you were given a speed time graph you would be finding distance it then says this would involve calculating the area under the graph in the same way as shown above and lastly it says note area under the graph here means the area enclosed between the line and the x-axis so the best way to understand this is just to see an example. So it says here, to find the displacement of the object with the following VT graph, the area under the graph must be calculated. So here we've got a graph like this, we've got velocity against time. It then says we can split the graph into two triangles, one above the x-axis and one below the x-axis. So remember we said the area is going to be enclosed between the line and the x-axis. So I'm interested in this area and this area. So to find the area of this triangle, I'm going to do a half times base times height. So I've got A triangle equals a half times B times H. And putting in those values, we've got a half times 6 for the base times 10 for the height. So that's a half times 6 times 10, which gives me 30. And then for this triangle below the axis, again, we've got a half times base times height. And we're going to add that to our first area. So we've got a half times base times height, which gives us a half times 6 again, because this is just an upside down triangle. So there's my base. I've got 6 to 12 gives me 6. And then my height is actually minus 10 this time. So that gives me a half times 6 times minus 10, which will give me minus 30. So if I add these values together, I get 30 minus 30, which gives me 0 for my total area. And that means the magnitude of my total displacement, i.e. the distance travelled here, is 30 minus 30, which gives me 0 metres. So this would be the graph and therefore the displacement for an object that's been thrown up into the air and then travels back down to the exact same position as before so that the total displacement is zero. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.